Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen. Hope you're doing really well. It's time for an unboxing first impression. And today it is Spice Bomb Infrared from Victor and Rolf, the newest in the Spice Bomb line. Spice Bomb as a fragrance line is one that's had some ups and downs. We got the good like Spice Bomb Extreme, the not so good like Spice Bomb Night Vision Eau de Toilette. And now we got this one. Time to check this out and see if it's worth anything. Let's jump into this. Now I bought this from Nordstrom, full retail, $110 for this size right here, 90 milliliters. Also comes in a 50 milliliter size. That one's gonna run you 90 bucks. So pay $20 more, get nearly twice as much. They could have gone with a 100 mil size bottle, but they said, nah, 90's good. And that's not just for this one, it's for all of them, they're all like that. Let's go ahead and unbox this one. Check out that presentation. I do like, how I can hear it inside there. Great. Here's a good look at the box before I go ahead and crack into it. Got the Victor and Rolf logo at the top. Nothing on the sides. There's a good look at the back for you. And the bottom. Now one thing that this color scheme actually vaguely reminded me of when I first saw it is Fahrenheit Absolute. Rest in peace. You see? Yeah, I'm not the only one here, right? I'm just seeking validation at this point. Somebody tell me that they see this too. Let's go ahead and open this up, check out this bottle. Oh, some information on the inside. Uh, it's my Victor and Rolf secret service code. Better not give that away. And then this right here, this, this is very important, very important. What is that you might say? It's a picture telling you that when you pull out your bottle of Spice Bomb Infrared like I have right here, and you, you line it up and Try to spray yourself, what? It's not spraying! This bottle is broken! Oh wait, the picture, oh! Because an adult can't figure out that on their own. That shows you how stupid Victor and Rolf thinks that we all are. Victor and Rolf is like, you better put a picture on there that shows them how to, how to that otherwise we're gonna be inundated with emails and phone calls of people saying I can't spray my bottle okay enough of that little rant let's check this out there it is spice bomb infrared with of course the little pull tab it's in the standard grenade bottle badge code here 22u 10d4 pretty long I was actually thinking that the bottle was gonna look more red. I mean, it's, it's red when you hold it up to the light. You can see it at the bottom. When you're just holding it in your hand like this, it uh, doesn't look very red, but who really cares? Let's go ahead and spray it on. I've talked a lot already. Hmm. Right off the top, I don't like it as much as I wish I did. I wish that I was like, whoa, instead I'm more like, so I get the, the red pepper, habanero pepper that they're trying to pass off as the spiciness here. The thing with this one is that it's lacking that, that pepper and that big blast of cinnamon off the top that Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme have. And that's what really kind of draws me into those fragrances, especially Spice Bomb Extreme with that black vanilla mixing in. With this one, there's a little bit of red berry sweetness off the top. It's not crazy sweet, but there's a lot more of that fruit type of sweetness here than you might expect if you were expecting the original Spice Bomb here. So yeah, this is a, a sweeter take, less aggressive on the spiciness for sure. The spices are not as in your face. They're not as abrasive. They're not as aggressive. I mean, yeah, you do get cinnamon here. You do. It, it's just more along that, like I said just now, two seconds ago, on the sweeter side than Spice Bomb or even Spice Bomb Extreme. I do like how this one has settled down a little bit. It smells better now than when I first sprayed it on. That being said, I do not like this first impression wise as much as Spice Bomb Extreme or the original Spice Bomb. I do like that the habanero is coming out a little bit more as it stays on my skin here, but it still isn't really grabbing me. This is smelling more like a fragrance that's good, not great, not excellent, but not bad either. Just kind of Good. What I'm gonna do though, is let this dry down. I'm gonna jump off here and be right back in just a couple seconds for you guys and let you know how it changed as it dried down. See if it got better or worse, stayed the same. So 
and I'll see you in just a couple seconds. I'm gonna do a giveaway of a decant from this bottle, a 10 milliliter decant. Stay tuned later on in this video, I'll let you guys know how to be entered for a chance to win that. All right, I'm back. Infrared has dried down. Let's talk about how it's changed. As this one heads through the mid into the dry down that benzoin comes out pretty strongly, it gives it kind of a vanilla feel, like a vanilla sweetness, but powdery as well. Now it's not like baby powder, it's not like soap powder, just this sort of faint fuzziness <laughs> that lingers in your nose when you smell the fragrance, basically. Some people might say it's a little bit creamy, maybe, uh, but for me, kind of a powdery vanilla feel as it dries down. I wish this had more spice. Frankly, I wish that the habanero pepper had more pop. I wish it was more aggressive. I wish it was stronger, but it's not. You get a little bit of that tobacco, that sort of spice bomb tobacco accord. You get that as this fragrance dries down. And for me, this one actually smells closer to the original spice bomb, the more it dries down. Now it never smells exactly like the original spice bomb, but you can definitely pick out that spice bomb DNA once it hits the mid. In the opening though, it's not quite as close to the original spice bomb as when it starts to dry down. This one does stay pretty sweet the whole way through also. So a little bit like that spice bomb DNA, removing just about all of that, that spicy punch, replacing it with sweet berries on the top, and then trying to, to kind of give that spice a boost as it dries with that habanero pepper, but it never really, never really jumps out there. I also had my wife smell this one. So I went up to her and I was like, hey, give this a smell, tell me what you think about it. She just smelled it and said, oh, what's that? And I said, it's the new Spice Bomb Infrared. And she just nodded and went, it's nice. And then walked off. About one of the least excited it's nices I've ever heard. Just kind of like this, it's nice. And I've got kind of a, a similar sentiment myself. Like I said, when I was smelling the opening in the first part of the mid, it's good. It's not great, it's not excellent, it's good. It's nowhere near as good as Spice Bomb Extreme for me. It's not as good as the original Spice Bomb either, but I think it's better than Night Vision Eau de Toilette. Is it better than Night Vision Eau de Parfum for me? Mm, probably not. From what I can tell, again, just my first time wearing it, but from what I can tell, projection doesn't seem to be on par with Spice Bomb Extreme or the original Spice Bomb. It's just not at that level of strength. That may not be important to you. Uh, some people don't care at all about projection. Some people care a whole lot about projection. It's just, uh, in general, those, those cool weather Spice Bomb fragrances are really known for having a punch, and this one mm, doesn't have quite as much. Comes across as more of an evening fragrance, definitely a cool weather fragrance, so fall and winter time, so it's kind of interesting that they're releasing it now in North America, heading into spring when everything is heating up. Like always, I'm gonna give more wear to this fragrance, and if my opinion changes one way or the other, you know, for better or for worse, I'll do a full review, I'll let you guys know about it, let you know what did change. As of right now, I think um, it's not gonna be one of the five worst of the year at all. It's also not gonna be one of the five best. It's just gonna be one of those fragrances floating around somewhere in the middle. And it's not that it's, it's done in a really terrible way or anything. It's just when I'm smelling it, there's, there's just not really a whole lot that, that hooks me. You know, there's not something where I'm smelling it and I'm like, ah, I gotta come back and, and wear that one again and again and again because it's just so awesome in the opening or the mid or whatever, you know? It doesn't have that, that it factor for me. And that's not really something you can quantify. It's just something that's different for everybody, I guess. You know, some people you smell a certain fragrance and you just go like, yes, that's for me. This one is one of those fragrances I smell and I'm like, I'm, don't know if I care that it exists. Now let's go ahead and do the giveaway. All you have to do to be entered is like this video, leave a comment below saying what your favorite Spice Bomb fragrance is. Yeah, that's it, just let me know which one is your favorite. If you've never smelled one, let me know which one you would like to smell the most and also be subscribed to the channel. In about a week's time, I'll pick a winner with random comment picker. I will post that winner on the community tab on my YouTube channel. Then all you have to do is get in touch with me and I will ship out your decant from this lovely bottle right here. So there we go guys, first impressions on Spice Bomb Infrared. Not terrible, not great, it's good. If you smell that one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for your support, stay safe out there and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.